Hi everyone. What I want to do today is I want to talk about the microphone gain and using compression on the Zygu G90. Uh, the compression feature is not adjustable. It's either on or off. And the way the manual states it is that the compressor will allow you to, I guess the best way to put it, reach the maximum potential of your power output. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I'm not sure I can really demonstrate that exactly because, after all, it's the receiver who can tell me whether or not they like the audio. I can't hear the audio, right? Anyway, what we need to do to adjust the microphone output to get the best power usage or output of this um, radio is this. On the function button, press the function button once. We press the power button once and you'll see that the microphone gain is set to 12. We can change that simply by dialing this knob here, as usual, the main knob, does everything knob. It goes to 20, it goes down to 0. I've been told that 12 is a good place to start. So we'll go to 12. Now, if we press the POW button again, we can make sure that the input to the radio comes from the microphone and not from the line input of a radio. Oh, I'm sorry, a computer. So it's set to mic if you want to change that again. The universal do-all guy right here. Uh, I'll go back to mic. That's it. Press funk and hit that once and it goes back to the normal display of the filter width. Okay. I'm on 10 meters. It's almost 6 o'clock at night. 10 meters is closed down for the evening, so there's no one going to hear me. But let's just give it a little bit of a try. I got the handheld mic. I'm just going to call QRZ to see if the frequency is in use. QRZ, QRZ is the frequency in use. QRZ is this frequency in use. Now notice that I don't have a lot of output here. I'm not seeing a whole lot. If I press the compression button, little icon shows up here, little microphone icon. Now watch what happens here. QRZ, QRZ, is this frequency in use? Interestingly enough, a ton of output seems to occur. Watch. QRZ, QRZ, WA3, YAY, um, QRZ. That's a lot of output. If I press the compressor off, Watch this. Same exact distance from the microphone. QRZ, QRZ is the frequency in use. So, I'm a little mystified by the difference. It's profound. It's quite a bit. It does its job. It does create much more output with the compressor on. Um, I would have liked for the compressor to be adjusted so that it would stop the clipping that was occurring at the top. I might actually turn the mic gain down now. So we'll go to function, go to PAL, mic gain 12. Let's take it down to 10, just to see what happens. Turn that off. Still got 20 watts. That's effectively what it can do. All right, let's try this again. Compressor is off. QRZ, QRZ uh, is the frequency in use. There's a lot more up and down. I mean, there's a lot more lows, a lot more highs, a lot more peaks. If I press, turn the compressor on, same distance from the microphone, QRZ, QRZ is a frequency in use. You can see how it levels everything out, brings it more in line with the center. Um, I think that's a great thing. I hope that it works as well for the receiver as it does for me, the transmitter. So anyway, I have changed the microphone to 10 and I have turned the compressor on and tomorrow when 10 meters is open hopefully I'll give it a shot and see how I do I'll call CQ on 28 400 a couple times in the afternoon see if I can scare somebody up and see if we can do some uh, audio checks so that's how you adjust the microphone gain that's how you change the compressor on or off and kind of an indication of what it does and I'm no expert on audio on this thing so hopefully the compressor does a good job of maximizing the 20 watts that you get out of the Zygu G90. Okay, that's for today. Uh, please subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.